hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm asha diamond your most influential life pilot of this generation so today being a holiday my family and i decided to go out for a treat or should i say just went out to have fun because we need to take the boys out so Hey, what's this cock doing there? <laughs> so we decided to go out and our, our location was to go to the mall and Janshi Mall to be precise. So we sent the boys out. As you can see, we took them to the playground and we decided to leave them there to play. <laughs> And we paid for an hour play, so we left them to have fun and to play with the other kids. As you can see, the mom was choked, like, Hey, Nipani! I was so surprised because we went to the mall. I know it was a holiday and I knew people would have, like, would be there like that. But as at 12, 30 to 1 we were there and the place was over choked like you see people and the whole mall was I was like oh and I don't really like being in choked areas like I don't know why but it's kind of feels some some way but as you can see the boys are playing the kids are really playing and it was fun like everybody enjoyed this, themselves myself my sister my friend and there were lots of lots of activities so they had opportunity to play every play that they wanted to So leaving the boys there, we decided to go on a window shopping. And this lady that we we first stopped, hey, her things were quite expensive, like very expensive. But we decided to move on and check what they had because there were so many people there. People were selling their products. There were perfumes, clothes. Um, name it everything that like you wanted toys portraits so we decided to check the the showcases out to choose where we could buy from or what's what's nice for us actually we didn't expect to see lots of them like this but they really had nice things. I won't lie. They were beautiful things out there. And the most exciting thing is that, like, they all had African prints. And it's so beautiful because we need to love our own. Like, the patterns, the clothes, the, the styles they used. Like, everything was so colorful and nice and really loved it. So this was how the place was looking like. It was so choked. But they also had their part to showcase. It was so colorful, guys. So we decided to stop by one of the tents. And we got some beads. Because she really had nice beads on. And it was okay. The price was hmm, okay. <laughs> it wasn't too expensive, but 
we still got it there. My sister also got her dress as she was showcasing over there. <laughs> if you know me, you will know I love what's the trouser called? Um Palazzo trousers. I really like this big big trousers because I want to feel comfortable. And I also like loose dresses. So I saw one and I really wanted to get get it. So the woman showed me what she had and I felt the ones that I was holding was too colorful. I don't know if you guys could, could notice it, but I really liked the one I was wearing and I had to try it on to make sure it's loose like the way I want it. So that was me fitting it right there and my sister was also loving her loose dress <laughs> the woman had to come and tuck you for me to see how beautiful the trousers were and i like the fact that the the trousers were loose enough for me and long like the i, I really like the length and everything about the trousers my sister said that she wasn't appearing in the video while she she was even the person was fully appearing in the video <laughs> but all the same it was so much fun trying out the outfits and really liked it so that was me and that was my sister you know i did i, I didn't know we were we were matching like wearing white tops and jeans I didn't know we were matching. So this was what we got. That was mine. Not everything on the table though, but my trousers and the loose top. And she packaged it well for us. She also gave us some discount because it was so so Ghana she he left us over, so she had to reduce the things. We went for the kids after an hour. And they said they were hungry. You could see they were all sweaty. Guys, just look at the mall the whole place was packed like i didn't know if half of nungwa people were there because the whole place was choked and kfc was so choked but we couldn't do anything because the kids were hungry so we decided to get a family park we ordered for a family treat or is it park i don't know but it was family something so it was rice chicken fries drinks i mean i mean we ate because we were all hungry <laughs> it's all it wasn't only the kids as we were also waiting for them and going for the window shopping we we're also hungry so we waited for them so we can all eat as a family taking pictures as you can see Now we we're done eating and we we're able to walk because we we're so tired. I don't know if you guys could see, but look, I was looking so tired. My face was looking so stressed. The sun was scorching. Hey, Ghana is the what? Ghana is she? Hey, she do do. The sun was too like, scorching. And the place was so hot. But. We still needed to have fun. So we went to the shop, which I can't remember. But if you are one person who is familiar with Jan Shimo, I guess you, you should know the shop. Because I seriously can't remember the name of the shop. But we tried checking their things out. <laughs> to shop right the kids wanted to get toys as usual 
working with boys, working with children, you know they'll definitely get get something home. So we came to where the toys were and guys, hey, plastic toys and rubber toys, you could imagine the prices. We're like, what the heck? The price was like they were too high. Even one man was like, by the time the children realized he would vanish from the shop, right? Because the things were super expensive. That was the man. I was even surprised we could capture him in the video. He said, Hey, my time be who not my way for because the things were super, super expensive. So that was we leaving the shop, right? from our shopping, getting things for ourselves and for the children. So guys, leaving the shop right, we couldn't leave the mall without taking in some pizza. But the funny thing was that the pizza we took wasn't nice. I don't know if it's because of the pressure they had because there were so many people there. But we still ate it like that, you know. So guys, I really want to take this opportunity to wish all our Muslim family and friends happy Eid al-Fitr or Eid al-Adha. I always get confused with it, but happy, happy season to you guys. I'll write what the season is, but please forgive me. See you guys in, the, in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye.